Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome to our first trophy achievement guide for Mass Effect Legendary Edition. This is meant to supplement the playthrough that we have of Mass Effect Legendary Edition Insanity Mode happening right now on my channel, uh, which, of course, is premiering at 2 p.m. Eastern every single day. So make sure you're subscribed, hit that bell notification so that you know when new episodes are premiering. Anyways, in this video, I want to go over how you can unlock every single ability related trophy in Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition. So let's get into it. Now, this whole process should take you about two, two and a half hours, maybe even faster if you know the game really well. You want to make two new career profiles. One of your shepherds is going to be an adept. Doesn't matter anything else. And I recommend doing this on casual just to make it a little bit faster and easier on yourself. So you want to make an adept shepherd and an engineer shepherd. Very important. Those are the two that you want. That'll give you access to every power that you are going to be unlocking for these trophies. And the point of unlocking these trophies, it's not just for achievements or for trophies. It's so that your shepherd in any subsequent playthrough, even right now, you can go back and make a new one if you're not that far into the game, can start with a bonus talent by unlocking this. And in fact, they've actually nerfed these talents in the Legendary Edition. Back in the day in Mass Effect 1, you actually needed to use these 75 times. In this version, you only need to use it 25 times. It's super fast to do it. So anyways, you want to play your Engineer and your Adept all the way through Eden Prime up to the Citadel. You want to be talking to everybody, getting codex entries as much as you can, getting a little bit of XP by uh, using your decryption and electronic skills, defeating every enemy that you come across. Then when you get to the Citadel, you want to focus on getting those side quests done, trying to scan all the keepers real quick, get that part done. That's going to and should definitely propel you to level four. At level four, you can skin, spend your skill points in every single usable skill and make sure that those are unlocked across the board. So the engineer will be able to unlock medicine by putting points into first aid and therefore giving the engineer the ability neural shock. And you'll be able to unlock AI hacking as well. For the adept, you'll want to focus on unlocking stasis and singularity so that you have access to those abilities as well. Then what you want to do is you want to go to Korra's Den after getting Garrus and Rex onto your team. You want to go to Korra's Den clear that place out, and then save right after taking down the two warehouse workers. Go ahead and save a file right there. Before you head into that room, go ahead and send Garrus and Rex off or whoever's on your party so that they don't kill anybody for you. And then you walk in and you'll see Fist alone. Then he'll spawn these turrets as you approach him. All you have to do is walk in and use all of your abilities on the turrets. You can use AI hacking. You can use sabotage. All of that. You can use those abilities and it counts. So you use them. Don't kill Fist. It's not a big deal if you do, but it just takes a little while to go through the dialogue. But you want to use Neural Shock since it has to be on a bioorganism. You have to use it on Fist. AI hacking needs to be used on a synthetic. So you can use that on the turret. Singularity, you don't even need a target. You can just throw it out. Use all of your abilities, barrier, everything, lift, throw, all of that stuff. Use it and then load your save. And while you're doing this and resetting so often, you can also just be hitting triangle or Y and using a meta gel to get progress towards that first aid trophy. And then rinse and repeat over and over 25 times and you will have unlocked all of the trophies available to you in the game. This is not a hard trophy to get at all. It's a pretty hefty amount of them. And I actually use this to make my first shepherd, my first real shepherd, actually have a really good ability right out of the gate. Super easy to do. You don't have to play through the game to unlock these. I highly recommend doing this so that you can have the best shepherd possible as soon as possible. And you get some nice trophies and achievement points for it. I hope this video has helped you get these trophies real fast. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the premieres every single day at 2 p.m. Eastern. I sincerely appreciate you. Thank you for watching. And remember, never give up, never surrender. Bye, everyone.